What is up guys, it is Taco Rick and we are back at it again with another video and in today's video as you can see behind me, a lot has changed with the taco. As we're calling it, it's actually called right now the Beast. That's the name I'm going with for my truck. What you're seeing right now is new rims, new tires, and a lift kit. Let's dive into a little bit of why also I didn't film it and what all is on the taco currently, because a lot has changed. So first thing I want to point out is that I have a lift kit now on the truck, and what lift kit I installed, this is a three inch lift kit. You'll see some footage rolling on the screen right now. This is a three inch lift kit from Rough Country, and that is not a spacer lift kit. It's a, it's a block in the back as you will see as well as new shocks in the back and a new strut in the front and basically the strut is actually kind of like a combination so what I had to do was take the old struts out take the spring off of the old strut and put it onto the new strut I did all of this myself it took me two days to install the whole entire lift kit from start to finish I started Friday at like 5 o'clock and didn't get done with the front half until 1 a.m. at night that also included a half inch diff drop in the front to compensate for the front axles uh, with this lift so that we keep the axles as straight as possible and overall it's a three inch lift kit and like I said I did not film any of it and I did all the labor myself and the main reason for that is this was a very big undertaking for something like me to try and attempt so I actually followed along with a video I found on YouTube of how to actually install this whole entire thing it's made by I don't even remember the name of the thing but I'm gonna link it down below uh, the video of what I watched to do this and it literally is step-by-step -step video instructions on how to do it and I didn't really find too many things that I couldn't figure out from his video that I was missing or like stuff he didn't explain that I need explanation on other than the fact that it's a like a 25 minute video and it really does not show the struggle and efforts that you have to go through to get this thing done I will say straight up though you need an impact gun an air or I actually have a Roby one impact wrench to do this install you need an impact wrench to get this thing done without killing yourself as well as if you have access to spring compressor like an actual stationary one like he has in the video I just have the clamp ones those are very tedious to use having just a one that's mounted on the wall would make life a lot easier like shown in his video. And obviously the main point in doing that lift kit was to fit bigger tires and bigger rims underneath of the taco. I didn't go crazy. I didn't want to go crazy. I wanted to have a very practical setup. That's why I only went with a three inch lift kit. I'm not trying to do something crazy. I just wanted to make my truck a little bit taller and be able to fit some 18 inch rims with some nine wide uh, pretty aggressive off-road tires underneath the package. This is my current setup right here behind me. These are 18 inch fuel coupler all black they have a version where they have machine faces as well but I went with the solid black fuel couplers and I paired them with some 275 65 R18s from Goodyear these are the dirt tracks from Goodyear I don't really talk about it but I actually kind of work for Goodyear so that's why I have Goodyear's on my vehicle I get a pretty good discount to buy Goodyear tires so that's why I have Goodyear's instead of like a Nitto grappler or something like that that's probably what I would have gone with if I didn't get such a good deal on Goodyear tires I did forget to mention uh, where I got the rim tire situation and the offset this is a negative 12 uh, millimeter offset I picked up the lift and the rims and I probably would have picked up the tires if I didn't have to go directly through Goodyear to get my discount but from custom offset sets custom offsets is very popular here on YouTube and I use them to source all of my parts they get really good pricing compared to where you could buy these in other places they're like spot on and I just like the fact that they're like true to the this is what they do they do big lifted big tires, big wheels, big trucks. It's kind of cool that I was able to purchase from them and they're a YouTuber. It's just it's really cool. Now like I said, I wanted a very practical setup. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, like the spacing and the fitment of my wheels and my tires with this lift kit. I did a lot of research before actually diving into doing this setup and I did tons of research on reviews and recommendations on what to buy, how to do this and stuff. And I wanted to do this on a very reasonable budget and I think I pretty much achieved that so if I would have paid outright the full price for the tires this would have been about a $3,500 build to do the lift do the tires and do the rims and do all the labor myself other than obviously mounting the tire that it's done at the tire shop because I don't have the equipment putting the lift on get in alignment uh, that's included in this in that $3,500 as well so that is a very affordable way to do this now the rim tire setup I have absolutely no rubbing. I did not have to trim anything. 
Keep in mind though, this is an off-road, so I don't have any of the mud flaps that you would get on an SR5 or like a TRD Sport or a TRD Pro, I believe also comes with mud flaps. I'm not sure if that would fit or not. I don't have mud flaps, so I didn't have to worry about that. Absolutely no rubbing at full lock in the fronts and tons of room in the back. Also looking into this, uh, the Goodyear Duratrax that I'm running right now, this is the biggest size that you can get and still have a tread life warranty on them. So they have a 50K tread life warranty on them. That was also something I wanted to take into consideration because I drive a lot of highway miles. I wanted something that was very practical and actually could drive well on the road. Speaking of driving, let's talk a little bit about the ride quality because I know that's probably one of the biggest questions is how does this ride compare to my factory setup? Obviously this is a cheap rough country kit. I believe the whole entire kit itself cost me like $550 which is a very inexpensive lift kit, especially to do three inches. So I had the mindset, I knew that this lift kit was not gonna be the, I wasn't gonna be riding on airbags. I wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna be amazing. So compared to stock, stock is actually a semi-stiff setup. It rides like a truck. It's a truck, it rides like a truck, but it is definitely stiffer than factory. So I had the lift kit on this before I put the wheels and tires on it. Obviously I wanted to fill it out and make sure that the lift was all proper before I went and added another source of error which would have been tires and wheels so riding on the factory wheels and tires with the three inch lift kit it was a noticeably stiffer ride very stiffer ride but it was bearable it was not like something that was crazy i could compare it to like uh, a truck suspension from like 2004. as some of you guys know i used to have a 2004 gmc sierra and i would say the suspension setup on this currently right now is equivalent to that ride quality it's not butter smooth, it's pretty stiff, it's pretty solid. If you hit a bump, you're gonna feel a bump. One interesting fact though, when I just put the wheels and tires on last weekend, uh, and now that I've been driving on the new wheels and tires, it's actually softened out the ride. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I have a wider footprint now, and there's maybe just these tires in general, there's a wider footprint and there's more absorption in those tires. So yeah, the ride quality is not butter smooth, it's stiff, but it's definitely manageable. If you're someone that expects to be riding like you're in a car, this is not the setup for you. If you expect to ride in a vehicle, in a truck like this, that's gonna feel like a truck. That's the setup for you. It's gonna it's gonna be stiff, but it's not like it's not irritating. It's not you're going down the highway and you're feeling every last little thing. It's smooth on the highway until you hit a bump. Once you hit a bump, you hit a bump. But for me personally, this setup is completely manageable and I enjoy it and you can't beat the look. So there it is, guys. There is the taco. It is now lifted. Three inch lift kit. Got the brand new Goodyear Duratrax with the fuel 18 inch rims on it. I love this setup, guys. I can't, like, I can't stop looking at this thing. It's just, it's mind boggling how sick this thing looks. Especially now that I finally got the chrome's gone. No chrome. I, I know you guys that I I've been on this like anti chrome thing, and the last bit of chrome literally on this vehicle was those damn rims. I mean, now I got a the fuel badge is chrome, but I don't care about that. That's minuscule. I love this lift kit. Uh, like I said, the ride quality is perfectly fine for my uh, doing. Everything is smooth. There's no issues, and there's lots of reviews on doing this same setup, and people have drove this thing with 50, 100,000 miles with no problem with this lift kit. So this is a reliable setup. I'm very happy with it, and um, looking forward to uh, driving it around and showing it off on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video to update you guys on the truck, where we stand on the build. Like I said, I'm going to link down below the video that I followed to do the whole entire three inch lift kit install. It was pretty straightforward. It did take a long time. It does require two people to do some of the work on it. You can do some of it by yourself and you do need an impact wrench and you have to go through and make sure you get every single one of the tools needed to do this and that includes the cutoff saw. There was a little bit of cutting to do the diff drop but like it's very minimal. But yeah guys on that note if you guys like this, if you like the setup, if you think this is sick be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave down the comment section down below what you guys think of this setup. Are any of you guys running this rough country setup or rough country setup in general? Fuel rims, Goodyear Duratrax, anybody got reviews? I want to I want to hear some feedback. Let me know. But also on that note guys if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel be sure to click that subscribe button. Uh, this channel is growing at a very very impressive rate for just starting this truck channel and like you guys probably have noticed I've been starting to focus a little bit more on uploading on this channel because it, it's just something I, I like trucks I like modding vehicles so this is something I want to also share with you guys and making videos is just fun for me yeah that's all comments likes subscribe taco Rick out peace I completely forgot to mention I actually bought five full-size tires and full-size rims. So I do have a fifth fuel coupler rim with another 275, 65 R18 
Goodyear dirt track on it and I have to find some time to modify the current bracket underneath of the truck to make it fit. I've already done the calculations and math and I've seen where people already did it online. You can make a full size spare fit underneath of there um, in this size tire. This is actually about a 32.6 inch tire. It's not exactly 33 inches, but it's close. Um, but you can't fit a full size spare. So I just wanted to add that in there. Um, be looking forward for that video. I will show you guys how I actually modified that to fit underneath of the Tacoma as well.